Please listen carefully. Instead, they rather read things on the internet and just... Hello? Where go? I fell on my ass the first time I tried and I didn't want to be defeated. And ever since I kept stepping on, there's always something new to try. Keep refreshed by doing something different. It's really easy to get in the same motion and doing the same run, same event, same whatever. Just do something different. Sector 9, rad wheels, monkey trucks, RDVX grip tape. Without those, I mean, those are, it's awesome because those are the brands that I like the most. It's really not much new. It's still just a bunch of friends, like derelicts just running around making videos for other skaters, trying to be professional, but really not, which I guess is a good thing. I was pretty much living in San Diego for three years, but to be in back to skate house, so it's nice to have my personal belongings where I actually live. San Diego has a lot to offer. It's just a little bit more spread out, so you have a little bit more time in between things. A little slower pace, more surfer vibe. I like it. The local runs with the crew and the good old boo. I miss that so much. Now that I'm down here, I really miss it. I would not be here if it wasn't for those two. They had faith in me when I first came on board to Sector 9. Jeff introduced me to Sector and like the ability to explore the possibilities of working in the industry at Sector has been awesome. It's gotta be the, that special one of the fish and the boo. I've skated well over a thousand times and there are still things that I haven't done that I want to do down that road. Well, a Tobongo is the way to start the day and a Mole Bowl is the way to end the day. I don't want to talk about it. When I'm riding like parks or my street board, like I'll, I'll push normal, but like once the once the we're racing, I'm pushing Mongo because that's the power. Angie's Curves. I mean, I'm a little biased. I put on and organized the event with the Sector 9 crew. New big things, webcasting, people know the track, race is going to be tighter, it's going to be more competitive this year, that's for sure. You know, having a good girl to uh, balance you out is a good thing. It's, uh, it keeps me centered. I'm, I'm already 110% skateboarding, so a couple other things in my life is a good thing. Too much fun. Not fun. Learn the hard way. You gotta always ride with your head on straight. For me, I wear my helmet once I go faster than I can push. I mean, this is a personal question, I think, but everyone loves to make it a global thing. For everyone out there, you need to wear your helmet. It's, it's important. Ones you land, ones that go fast, and ones that are styling. The ones that have influenced my style the most are the people that I grew up skating with. Stephen Wu, Dean Ozuna, and James Kelly. Steve Wu got me into hip bombing hills, Dean Ozuna showed me the ropes, and James James and I like pushed the limits of what's possible in downhill, or like to think that that's our two or whatever. James. And anytime. You follow James down any run, that's just pure downhill power and speed. Passion is the one where they come to mind with James, you know? Passion and a lot of dirt in the house. The main thing is you gotta get on your board and ride it. The skate nerds like to tweak out on things and like see like oh there's a little bit of discoloration, a little swirling, like oh that's a small little air bubble there. Like that's really gonna affect my ride. How do you know? You haven't ridden it. Just ride it down the hill, get some feedback, actually feel it, see what you're doing. Just first of all skate, that's the main thing. And then you got skate rats. I mean, there's like a couple different definitions. We have skate rats, which turn into the skate lurkers, who like to, you just like uh, sit on the go to skate events and not actually skate. And there's a the balance of all of it. You need techie, and then you need to just skate. Very important thing to how your setup rides. You know, if you don't have a wheelbase that you like, you're not gonna have fun. But wheelbase magazine and online is awesome, and it gives you some of the most critical skate information and event coverage that you can get. Second to Skatehouse Media, of course. <laughs> <laughs>